In a story you'll only see here, the attorneys representing Clifford Owensby reacting to the Dayton police settlement with the Justice Department over ADA violation in a now viral 2021 traffic stop. This body cam video shows their client being pulled out of his car after telling police he was paraplegic and asking them to get a supervisor. Mamie Ba has their reaction to that settlement tonight. Help me get out, car. The Dayton Police Department now making changes after the United States Department of Justice investigated this traffic stop involving a paraplegic man. You make it so much harder than what it has to be. Body cam video shows Dayton police pulling Clifford Owensby out of his car by his dreads. This after he told them he was paraplegic and asked for a supervisor. The 2021 traffic stop made headlines across the country. Can't step out the car, sir. I'm a paraplegic. Monday, the Justice Department and the city of Dayton, along with the police department, announced a settlement. In this instance, it's clear that they abused this man. When they snatched him out of the car when it was obvious to them or should have been that he was disabled. The DOJ says DPD provided Owensby with unequal and ineffective services by ordering him to exit and forcefully removing him from the vehicle without a mobility aid. Also, that the police department failed to reasonably modify policies, practices, and procedures to avoid discrimination. I think that Certainly they came down on the right side by by validating the concerns that Mr. Owens be brought to their attention. But the fact is, in any municipality, in any police department, in any state, um, time is what tells. The DOJ outlined specific time frames for implementation, training and reporting requirements, just to name a few. I did reach out to the city and police department to request an interview to talk about the settlement. Both declined. Due to the civil lawsuit Owensby and his legal team filed in December 2021, Owensby's legal team saying the DOJ's findings are telling. Do you think this helps your case against the city and the police department? I think they took dead aim at the police department. At least that's the way I'm reading it, and I'm hopeful that the other readers, uh, maybe even potential jurors, will have read that report. The city of Dayton did release statements in response to the settlement. The police chief said in part, the Dayton Police Department's training exceeds all legal mandates, and we will use this opportunity to further enhance our department. We will be working with Disability Ohio to train all our officers once per year. The department is also going to review and revise its policies to see where we can improve. After an internal investigation, DPD said the officers involved in the traffic traffic stop did not violate policy by removing Owensby from the car. Reporting in Dayton, Mamie Ba, Dayton 24-7 Now News.